strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Hi friends, thanks for joining me for another Sabbath School this week. We are going to do our last story about King David. And this one's a little bit interesting. This one comes from 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 1 through 16. And it talks a little bit about how King Saul was jealous about David. And this was all before David became king. Before we uh, start our story, though, let's sing some songs. Let's start with who is the king of the jungle. We haven't done this one yet, and it's kind of fun, and some of you will probably know it, and some of you might not. Let's do, uh, let's do the motions. So get your hands ready, okay? Who's the king of the jungle? Who, who? Who's the king of the sea? Wah, wah, wah. Who's the king of the universe? The jungle and the sea, I'll tell you. J-E-S-U-S, yes, he's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the jungle and the sea. Who's the king of the backyard? Woof, woof. Who's the king of the house? Meow. Who's the king of the universe, the backyard and the house? I'll tell you, J-E-S-U-S, -S. yes, he's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the backyard and the house. I think I forgot the motions to that song, but that's okay. Okay, and... For the last time, let's sing Only a Boy Named David. Get your hands ready again. You can stand up so that you can be the giant at the end, okay? Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David, only a rippling brook. Only a boy named David, but five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air, and the giant came tumbling down. Can we do it one more time? Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David, only a rippling brook. Only a boy named David, but five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air, and the giant came tumbling down. Okay, friends, thanks so much for singing those songs with me. Let's get ready to say our prayer. Let's fold our hands and we'll sing, I talk to Jesus when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray, when I pray, when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray and he hears me, I know. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this Sabbath day. Thank you so much for loving us and help us to know that you are always watching us and that you are always protecting us. We love you, Jesus, amen. Okay, my friends, so today we're gonna to talk about one more story about David before he became the king. David was the greatest king that God's people had ever known, but he had some hard times right at the beginning there. Right? God watched over David during those hard times, and God watches over us too. Last week we talked about how David defeated Goliath, right? And when that happened, all the people of Israel loved David. David became a great leader and warrior. God was with David wherever he went. God watched over David. David led the army to great success. 
The people sang songs about how great David was. They sang about how God was with David. And this made King Saul very angry. So, do you remember how King Saul liked David, right? Because David used to play the harp to help King Saul um, not be angry anymore, right? Um, King Saul wanted people to love him more than they loved anybody else in the whole world. He was jealous of David, of all the love that everyone gave to David. Have you guys ever felt jealous of someone in your life? Sisters or brothers or cousins or even moms and dads. Sometimes you feel jealous if you feel like they're getting more attention than you are. That happens sometimes. David used to go and he used to play his harp for, king, for the king. And one day David played his harp. Saul got angry. David's harp used to make Saul calm and feel better and but on this day Saul got very angry and he had a spear which is like a stick with a little pointy end on it and he threw it at David and tried to kill him but David got away God had helped David he had protected him from Saul's spear so David he became a greater and greater warrior and leader and eventually, he took Saul's place, becoming the king of all of God's people. God was with David, and God watched over him, just like he watches over us, right? I hope that you remember that God is always watching over you, and he can help lead you through all of the hard times in your life. Today for your hands-on activity, you're going to need some cones or some kind of obstacle to get through. You're going to watch Sander and Halden uh, figure out that sometimes it's easier to have somebody help you to get through life's problems. And then for your craft, you're going to make some binoculars to help you remember that God is watching over you. Have some fun! For our hands-on activity today, what I did was set up some cones in a line and spaced them out and had Sander and Halden weave through them. First, they did it with their eyes open and it looked pretty easy. Then I blindfolded them and it got a little bit tricky. Let's see how it works out.
So if you noticed, it was really tricky to get through those obstacles with your eyes closed, with, your, with a blindfold over your eyes, right? So sometimes in life we're going through something hard and it's really hard to get through it because we don't know what's going on and we don't know what's happening. But if we learn to trust in God and let him watch over us and lead us, then it makes life so much easier. Okay, friends, for today's craft, you're going to need something like a tube. So either... Um, toilet paper tubes. I have these little ones that'll work fine for today, but toilet paper tubes are really the best. And the first thing you're going to do is decorate these however you want. So let's start. I'm going to use markers. You could use stickers. You could use glitter glue. You can use whatever you want to decorate your tubes. decorating mine I was thinking that a paper towel tube might work also but you don't want to cut it in half because you're gonna want two tubes so the next thing after we've decorated these is to stick them together you can glue where's the front of mine you can glue them together like that or you can do what I'm gonna do which is use some tape mostly because it's faster and hopefully y'all have scotch tape at home. I can never find ours. So any kind of tape or something to stick these together with, okay? I'm gonna put mine together. Kinda decide how they wanna go. And stick them together. I'm gonna do the top and the bottom so that they stay together better. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna do, if you have, my, my tubes are kind of thick, so I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'll have to do it a different way, but is to punch a hole in the sides, one on each side. You're gonna use some yarn, and you're gonna create a little strap. I'm gonna take mine, because mine is, um, is too thick to punch a hole through, but you can tie yours, uh, tie your yarn or you can um, or tape it just like I'm gonna do sorry do it down below okay and now that it's taped almost And now I have my very own pair of binoculars. Can you see that? That's kind of fun, huh? And this is to help us remember that just like David, God is always with us and that he's always watching us. You can use these to watch things, right? He's always watching over us to help us and to protect us. Have fun with your binoculars. Hi friends, let's practice our memory verse one last time for this lesson. And remember it comes from Hebrews chapter 13 verse five. I'm gonna do the motions like we've done for the last couple lessons and I wanna see if you can say it. Okay, ready?
Okay, now let's try it together. God has said, I will never leave you. I will never desert you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. And one more time. God has said, I will never leave you. I will never desert you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. And that's all we have for today. That's all of the lessons we have for David and the giant. And I want you to remember that God is always with you, that he is always watching over you, and that he will always protect you. Bye.